Welcome to Needle Blight Forest. This was drawn up by Peak Comedy, and this is a new world kind of thing that I'm working on for my PvZ2 mod, Garn Rush. It now has a name, and I first talked about it here. Evidently, a lot of things have been worked on since, and I feel like going into a lot of changes, developments, and otherwise game-shaking elements that could be cool. Okay? Okay. So back to Needle Blight. This is the first area of the game, and I'll be making significant changes to the overall structure of PvZ2. In other words, I've been looking into changing the world theming. Instead of different time periods, I instead want to push to make these worlds unique locations. For obvious reasons, most mods end up being forced to settle in time periods, as very few mods have a chance to get so much assets made up to change this. This is still the case, for me, so we have to be smart about this, as you can see. Needle Blight and all other future worlds will not be using inclusive zombies. Instead, a lot of zombies from vanilla will be reused when applicable. Most notably, this includes the Mon Day crowd, but some other zombies have also been redesigned visually for this job, and have received a ton of balance changes to fit the game. Some are essentially new zombies in their own right, such as Camp Rimp, who will drop his backpack behind him on death. Despite obviously being based in Importa, he plays very differently, which is planned to be a running theme. Zombies are very tweaked for this game. There are a lot of these guys, and I hope you look forward to seeing them just as much as I'm excited to show you them, but there's more than just zombies. So, let's look at the local wildlife, or plant life. We've got to talk about Ent, as he is very special. Ent is a Chinese plant as part of Fairy Tale Forest, and he's now in Garden Rush. Kinda. Ent has a very different ability here. Having the same high HP, but instead of regenerating, will smack all the zombies in four tiles either side of them, dealing damage and some heavy stun. This may seem broken, and you'd be right. There's a reason he's an endangered plant. If you don't know, there's a frequent mechanic in Kingdom Rush where a bunch of levels will have a tower only available for them. For instance, a dwarf tower, or a pirate hideout where you can hire units. You can see where I'm going with this. And Ent, well, he's going to be similar. There are a lot of plants that simply don't work in Garden Rush. Plants like Chomper most notably don't work well for mod as a whole, but also a lot of plants that are similar to other plants just aren't great fits. Instead of removing a lot of these plants though, I can instead use endangered plants to bring them back. And I have a good excuse to add a few Chinese plants while I'm at it. This also adds a lot to the gameplay, as levels built around end require you to adjust your defense for a support, which I personally think adds a lot. You'll be seeing this objective often. Also, the plants chosen generally are super unique to each other. Like, there's no repeater. That's how you know the plant selection is going to be interesting. In other news, there's now a third power-up. It's a much simpler one than the other two, being a squash. You can guess what it does, it's fairly simple. It has a fairly quick recharge and does a lot less damage than before, but it's still extremely powerful. And you may be thinking, but creeps, wouldn't this make the levels too easy? And my answer is yes, I agree. That's why it's not available on expert mode. I've decided that Garden Rush works best when it's at a high difficulty, where its mechanics build to a hectic fight where the player needs to manage resources and control a field. But I also am aware this would be way too difficult for the vast majority of my audience, and the people watching. So instead of forcing a super high difficulty, I'm going to split it off into a normal and expert mode, similar to Terraria's expert mode. In addition to the exclusion of a squash power-up, expert mode will also have more aggressive enemy placement, no mowers, and other similar changes throughout. Unlike Terraria's, there will be no additional content or items. This is a hard mode designed for people who know what they are doing, and I want to make sure you are aware of that. However, I will be working on both extensively. I will be doing a lot of play testing and a lot of just general testing. I want to do this mode right. I want to do both modes right, as I want to show people that a hard mode can work for plants vs zombies. In total, this mod will have a lot less levels than other mods you've played, having a level count closer to PvZ1 than any other mod I know. But I do think you will find things to get interesting and difficult. Less levels means there's more focus on what makes things fun, and allows me to move the intense challenges to the extra levels, which are extremely brutal and unforgiving. As for plants, well, I've been working on extending the selection. 
There's also been a lot of balance changes overall since last time, such as a buff to peas across the board, or Sunflower getting constant tweaks. But imagine you all aren't so interested in that, so instead, I'll just let our level play for a bit. Enjoy!
And that's about all for the day. This will be the last video I make on this mod until I release the first area of this mod, what is shown here, publicly as a form of demo. There's still a lot to be done, especially for the final release. Art is especially troublesome, and as of currently, I don't at all have access to animation, and stuff like music is stuff I want to look into, but is certainly looking troublesome. I can make do with what I have, but I do want to go above and beyond. If you are interested in helping out, feel free to send me an email to the address below. I also have beta test applications running on my server as of release, so feel free to check those. Otherwise, that's all I have to show. I'm super excited to see this project through, and I think you will be as excited as I am to see this continue. Otherwise, this has been Creeps, and have a good one.